Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Bewitterman Blades. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. If anybody else knows how uh, that is pronounced, let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure it's Bewitterman Blades. And I'm doing a review of the Doughboy DB2. Okay? So if you guys haven't heard about these, this is a project that was uh, done by this gentleman right here, Andrew uh, Bowitteman, where these are kind of like a set of double brass knuckles, but they're fashioned after the famous 1918 uh, World War I trench knife. So on the World War I uh, trench knife, you had a full, uh, brass knuckles guard and then a a blade so it had essentially this same US 1918 insignia but it has another knuckle here and here and a blade so this is kind of like an homage to that famous knife and um, these are made out of cast bronze really interesting stuff this feels um, extremely substantial. It's got a lot of weight to it. Um, it carries like a boat anchor in the pocket. So they do, <clears throat> he does also make these in aluminum and also out of bronze. Um, I think this one is really cool because it's made out of brass, solid cast, uh, brass. So, you know, it's like, you know, set of brass knuckles. This is actually made of brass. As you can see here, it's got a um, a bottle opener that works very well. I've used it quite a bit, and it hasn't even left any real wear. Where I had thought that the the brass would have been a little bit softer, and it would have been very easily, um, I guess, marred or scratched. It's definitely a harder cast bronze okay and let's just take some detail shots here of the diamonds on the nut on the tips of the knuckles I threw on this little leather knot on here <clears throat> just to give it a little something to grab onto as you can see here it's uh, stamped a B for Andrew Bowitteman. And yeah, this is how it comes. So it comes in this bag here. I got this from Monkey Edge. It comes with this um, pinup style card. And then you've got the information there. <coughs> It also comes with this uh, sticker. But yeah, this thing's really awesome. I have to say, it really um, sits well in the hand. It has, um, it's soft back here, rounded edges, so it really sits into your palm well. And you have a solid, a really solid base um, for impact here. I've actually given this thing a couple hard hits into some wood and it, it, it feels really good. So just to give you a look, I have fairly large hands and there's plenty of room in the knuckles there. Okay. And cool thing about the brass is that it's going to take on, you know, a natural patina. Um, I just like throw this thing around. I think that it looks better. It's going to look better with age and as it gets more scratched up and takes on more character, it'll just look cooler and cooler. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. If you want to see more EDC type reviews, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a lot more gear I want to share with you guys. So if you liked the video, make sure to like it and... Let me know if you guys want to see more stuff like this in the future, all right? God bless, guys.